biggest mistake they see marketers and business owners make when it comes to AI imagery is that they generate images that look different every single time. That's bad branding. If you want to get good branding, you're going to need a standardized prompt that allows you to create consistent imagery that looks like it came from the same designer. I'm going to show you how to do that today. I'm Mark DeGrasse, founder of AI Branding Academy, and I love AI imagery. The problem is that AI imagery tends to be different every single time you use it. Actually, if you want to try using the same prompt at a different time or even just one after the other, it'll generate completely different images every single time. Now, you can't get around having different images every time, but you can guide the direction of those images so that it's standardized and looks more like your brand. What I'm going to show you is how to generate a prompt using ChatGPT and then take that prompt and put it into Midjourney to create consistent imagery that looks like it came from the same brand and the same designer, which is going to help you create a consistent impression of your brand that's going to actually assist in helping people remember who you are. All right, so we're going to generate a prompt to actually use within Midjourney. Now, uh, ChatGPT can actually generate images. I just don't like them most of the time. I prefer Midjourney. Uh, but go ahead and try this prompt in uh, ChatGPT if you want and see what it generates, and then maybe run it in Midjourney as well and see what that generates. Uh, but the prompt itself is pretty simple. Um, basically, you're just going to fill out these fields. Now, this is kind of the, the minimum fields I think you need in order to create branded imagery. Uh, you could use less, uh, but you know this is what we do to can set, uh, keep a really consistent brand image going. So let's go and check out what this says. Create a standardized prompt for Midjourney AI for your brand that reflects this brand identity. Basic styling, This the image should feature, and then you put the style details. And this is whatever you could think of in terms of uh, the styling. So uh, minimalistic, luxurious, futuristic, organic. Uh, basically describe the, the overall image that you want. Um, if you don't want to put this, um, say you could just replace any of these things with please suggest. Uh, what I should put here. Uh, mood. Now, the mood allows you to uh, tell the machine how it should create the image without knowing, uh, say, photography or videography terms that you would usually use to describe these images. Um, so if you say a mood like adventurous or soothing or any of these terms, it'll know how to tra translate that into the contrast and the exposure, uh, the tint, like all those different uh, kind of elements of imagery that you might not know. It can translate that. So you just need to know what you're trying to evoke with your imagery, and it'll translate it. Uh, using this prompt. Uh, realism level, um, if you want, you know, then this is usually you just want one style. Uh, but if you're just trying to replace, say, your stock imagery, you just want to say realistic. Realistic imagery usually does the job. Uh, color scheme, in this case, we are using ChatGPT Pro so we can upload our logo. And then the uh, prompts will actually reflect the colors of the logo. So that way you make sure that your images reflect the logo, which is the thing that people see the most. And that's what leads to good branding. Uh, finally, the size. Uh, you can put any type of dimension. Um, usually if you say like landscape, portrait, or square, those are the standard terms that you need for vertical, horizontal, or square images uh, that you typically use on your website or on social media. And then finally, a final phrase, uh, ensure that the final image conveys a consistent and professional representation of the brand's identity, put in a format that will be understood by Midjourney AI. Um, so again, you could actually just generate this image using ChatGPT. I suggest that you use Midjourney because it's better most of the time, but try both and see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this, and I'm in ChatGPT, I'm going to paste, and I'm going to use a new brand that I just set up, it's called Dads in Adventureland, it's a brand where uh, I'm trying to have uh, fathers of autism on here, I'm, I actually have an autistic son, so I made this brand so I could connect with the community, um, and I think it's a lot of fun, uh, but, but you can see the different you know, colors in here, obviously, orange, uh, this dark, uh, you know, blackish gray, uh, and then there's actually a, a couple other colors that are in it. Uh, but if you use your logo, you could actually get a lot of those elements into your imagery uh, just by having AI uh, extract the information from the logo itself. So I'm going to actually upload a logo. And then I'm simply going to replace these brackets. And you might want to do this if you're worried about, I don't know, AI Brand Academy. We're going to call this uh, Dads in Autism Land. Autism Land feature. I'm going to say natural and fantastical because we want that kind of you know fantasy like imagery uh the mood we're trying to do is we're going to say adventure and wisdom 
realism level. Um, again, you could just put realistic. Uh, if you put realistic, then that that covers most of your bases. There are other ways to say it, but that's that's the easiest way. Color scheme: use a color palette inspired by the logo. Use this phrase, or if you don't have the the pro version, just delete this sentence and just keep this one and just list your colors. And it doesn't have to be the exact hex codes or the Pantones or any of those fancy colors. You just say uh, blue, yellow, and white. That's the colors of AI Branded Academy. So, you know, just do your best. It's fine. You'll still get something useful. I'm, I'm going to use the logo I provided, so I'm going to keep that. And then the output size should be, and I'm going to say 16.9 is your standard landscape wide image um, in order to, you know, for most of the images that I share, that's the ones I start with. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So after you do that, you go ahead and click go. And let's see what it generates. So again, it's not generating an image. You could tell it to generate an image, uh, but you know we want a prompt that we could use. Now it does do this. Uh, you know, pretty much describes an image. Um, so this part right here, uh, there you go. Basically, everything here. These two sentences are an example of how you could describe an image. So I'm not going to keep this. This is actually my standardized phrase. The mood, uh, realistic style, the image should have cinematic quality and the sizing. That's all good. So that's what I'm going to use to actually start this prompt. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Now I'm going to go into Discord. And again, I'm going to use the pro version of this. You can use the free version, um, but this makes it a little bit <clears throat> less messy. And we don't have to see other people's artwork, which some types can be. Um, not something you want to see. All right, so I'm going to start this. Again, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see it. And on the prompt, I'm going to say forward slash imagine. And I'm going to hit tab. I'm going to paste my prompt. And I'm going to say... Um, let's see, father and son hiking up a mountain under a rainbow and rain filled sky. And then that's it. So, so if you're using this over and over again, you could just use what I just showed you. This doesn't have the technical aspects. I'm going to give you a tool tomorrow. That's going to give you the, the do a branded phrase. Uh, but today I'm just going to give you the single prompt to get you into the idea of standardizing phrases. And that's it. You're good to go. So now I'm going to go ahead and enter. And we're going to wait and see what it generates. Uh, but that's basically the tutorial. So, uh, you know, after this, you want to save this phrase and you just use this phrase over and over and over again. And I, you could just grab it from previous ones because I know starting with the mood should evoke, I could copy this each time. And I know I could also change the aspect ratio uh, by simply doing one to one or 916 if I want a vertical. Um, and we're good to go. And here we go. So you could see, I just, you know, this is a pretty standard phrase and you can see how it really fits with what I've already created. It has the coloring, it has the inspiration, it has the father son, um, and it really fits with the brand. So if people saw this, there's a good chance if they saw my original image that they're going to think of this again. And that's, that's good branding. Branding is all about recognition and this allows people to do it really easily. All right, so there you have it. Uh, this is a simplified version of a, a branded prompt. I'm going to show you the professional version tomorrow, uh, but this gives you, you know, kind of an uh, idea of how it works. It, it's really simple. It's really easy, and honestly, you feel kind of lazy because <laughs> people say like, "That's an amazing image," and you'll be like, oh, "I did it in two seconds," uh, which is really fun. And again, you're going to need a ton of these images as you build out your brand. So this allows you to do as many as you need really, really quickly and. Uh, you know, it doesn't really require uh, much work at all. So uh, go ahead and try it out. Let me know what you think and uh, tune in tomorrow because we're going to be getting into the professional ver uh, version of uh, this kind of standardized prompting. <laughs>